Yo, Jay Blank here. You finally got your hands on a Flipper Zero. Awesome. This thing is an amazing multi-tool for tech lovers, but hold on a second. Before you can start exploring everything it can do, there are a couple of super important first steps you just can't skip. I'm going to walk you through getting it set up and updated so you can go from just out of the box to ready for action in just a few minutes. Sounds good? Let's do it. All right, first things first. Before you can even think about turning this on, we need to talk about the single most important accessory, a micro SD card. Seriously, the flipper is basically a paperweight without one. It needs to store everything, updates, the signals you capture, and the apps you run. And no, it doesn't come with one in the box. Now, don't just cheap out and grab any old SD card you have laying around. Go for a good, well-known brand. Trust me, using a sketchy, no-name card can lead to all sorts of headaches from slow performance to weird errors. The good thing is you don't need a huge one. 16 or 32 gigs is more than enough for almost everybody. The slot is on the bottom of the flipper. You just slide the card right in with the gold contacts facing up. Push it in till you hear that satisfying click. With the SD card in, we're ready for the next step. Okay, let's bring it to life. Just press and hold the back button for a few seconds and you should be greeted by your new dolphin sidekick. If the battery is dead, don't worry. Just plugging it into a power source with the included USB-C cable will boot it right up. Now for the most critical part of the whole setup, updating the firmware. This is what gets you all the latest features, bug fixes, and security patches. The best way to do this is with the official desktop app, Q Flipper. You can grab it for Windows, Mac, or Linux straight from the Flipper Zero website. Get that installed, open it up, and then connect your Flipper to your computer. Quick tip, make sure you use a data capable USB-C cable. Some charging only cables out there won't work for this. Once you're in the Q Flipper app, you should see your device pop up, showing that it's connected. Look for a button or tab labeled Advanced Controls and click on it. You'll see a drop down box for Firmware Update Channel. This is where you pick your flavor of firmware. You'll see a few choices like release, release candidate, and development. Since you're just getting started, I'd really suggest sticking to the release channel. It's the most reliable and tested version, which is exactly what you want right now. Once you've selected release, just smash that big update button and QFlipper will handle the rest. It'll download the new firmware and push it to your device. You'll see it working its magic on both the flipper and your computer screen. The key here is patience. Don't touch it or unplug it until it says it's done. And that's it. When it finishes, your flipper is officially running the latest and greatest software. And hey, if you're already wondering what else you can do with this thing, like maybe installing custom firmware, you're in the right place. Make sure you're subscribed because I've got a lot more videos planned to cover all the cool stuff this gadget is capable of. So with the update done, let's do a super quick tour. Getting around the menus is easy. You just use the five button directional pad. The middle button is OK or Enter, and the one right below it is your back button. Pretty simple, right? If you click Enter, you'll see all the main tools listed there. Sub gigahertz for things like remotes, RFID for access cards, NFC, infrared, and a bunch more.
Your flipper is now ready to start reading, saving, and emulating all kinds of signals. But remember, this is a tool for learning and testing. Be cool. Only use it on your own hardware and on systems where you have explicit permission to poke around. Don't be that guy. And that's really all there is to it. In just a few minutes, you've taken your flipper from a fresh out of the box gadget to a fully updated and ready to go tool. The foundation is set. Now the fun begins. Go play around with it. Try capturing your TV remote signal or reading the NFC chip in an old hotel keycard. This is where the real exploration starts. I'm Jay Blanked. Thanks for watching. Peace.